When I was 11 years old, this graphic novel came out. This is the first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, written and illustrated by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. I absolutely loved this graphic novel, and I read it over and over and over and over again. In fact, I loved it so much, I picked up all four in the series. Most people are probably familiar with the Ninja Turtles at this point. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, then you're probably mostly familiar with the cartoon. But that is not the real Ninja Turtles. The real Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are much darker, much more gritty. I mean, they come from the sewers of 1980s New York City, so they had to be pretty tough. They weren't running around yelling cowabunga and eating pizza. They were lurking in the shadows, defending their fellow New Yorkers against the ruthless Foot Clan, led by the murderous and monstrous Shredder. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did whatever they had to do in order to take care of business. And then also, incidentally, if you don't know the origin of the Ninja Turtles and how Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird came up with the concept and its ties to the Daredevil story, you should really look it up, do some research. It's a fantastic origin story, and it is hilarious. Now, those original books, when I was a kid, I have no idea what happened to them. I lost them somewhere along the way. So over the years, I've been trying to get my hands on them again. And I just did. <laughs> Finally picked up all four volumes in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles graphic novel series. But you might be saying, why, Sam? You can't see them. And you're absolutely right. Uh, I more got it just for nostalgia. <laughs> and then maybe someday in the future, I can pass these on to my kids and then to my grandkids so that they can be introduced to the actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well. But today I was sitting here thinking, you know, in this day and age of AI and how helpful AI has proven to be for the blind and visually impaired community, and since AI does such a great job of describing things for us, I thought, I wonder how well it would describe a comic book to a blind person. Open chat GPT. So as an initial test of this whole concept, I'm just going to scan this first opening page here to see how well it does. This page is, it's, all, it's oftentimes it's called an establishing page or an establishing shot. This sets the tone of the entire comic book. So I want to see how well AI will describe this to me. Okay, I've taken the photo. Now for the prompt. Please audio describe this comic book page as if you were telling the story to a blind person. Make sure you include all the important information that would be significant for the blind person to fully understand what's happening on the page and experience the story. Okay, let's see what it says. I'll play the audio here. The page opens with a close-up panel at the top. It's just a pair of eyes glaring out from behind a red mask. The eyes are narrowed, sharp, and intense, giving a sense of determination and danger. Beside this image, there's text in a handwritten style that introduces the narrator. My name is Leonardo. We made a wrong turn somewhere. Now we're caught. Our backs to the wall in this trash-strewn alley, facing the way out, are members of the Purple Dragons the toughest gang on the east side. The only way they'll let us walk out of here is if we're dead. Below this, the main illustration fills most of the page. It shows the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles standing tightly together in a defensive stance. They are in a grimy alley, the cracked brick wall behind them showing signs of decay with garbage on the ground. The lighting is dim and shadowy, adding tension. Leonardo, who wears the red mask, just like the others in this early version, stands in front. He's holding his katana sword low and ready. To his left is Donatello, with his long bow staff raised defensively. Next to him, Michelangelo grips his nunchaku, his body tense and ready for action. Raphael is at Leonardo's right side, clutching his twin side weapons. The turtle's expressions are fierce, with clenched teeth and narrowed eyes, clearly ready for a fight. Their bodies are crouched and coiled with energy, ready to spring. A narration box overlays the scene, continuing Leonardo's thoughts. I hold my katana in a relaxed, ready position. To my left, Donatello and Michelangelo follow suit with bow staff and nunchaku. Raphael guards my right side. I sense his body quivering with tense energy, waiting to be triggered into savage, slashing release. 
At the bottom of the panel, there's a speech bubble from their unseen enemies. The voice is mocking and threatening. You're dead, freaks! Nobody trespasses on purple dragon turf and gets away with it, especially when they're wearing stupid turtle costumes. Finally, at the bottom center of the page, the number one marks this as the opening page of the story. This page sets the tone immediately. Dark, gritty, and dangerous. The turtles are cornered and about to fight for their lives against a street gang, with Leonardo narrating the tension and the sense of imminent violence. So what do you guys think? I think it did an amazing job. And I love that it even put in a lot of energy into the dialogue from the street gang. It really gives you a great sense of the emotion that would be happening in that scene. So yeah, I think this is super cool and I'm excited to continue trying this and potentially experiencing my favorite Ninja Turtles graphic novels in a whole new way. Let me know what you guys think if you'd like to see more of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to The Blind Life, turn on notifications so you'll stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. Thanks again. Same with The Blind Life. See you next time.